Uh, Teresa says, Ed is so right. The media is so focused on the minutia for entertainment value, they miss the point of what's going on. It's mentally exhausting. So on that note, we're going to talk about one of the things that I actually had planned to talk about tonight. Um, I was watching this, uh, I was listening to this clip of Donald Trump talking to an interviewer. And he said something that I was like, oh yeah, no, he's, he's absolutely right. You know, it's, it was disturbing. And it says something. It says something about, about him and, and his, his methodology. Oh, and he, he gets it, right? He, in this, I think he, he shows us that he knows what's going on. He knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, and it has nothing to do, listen, I, I know somebody out there, so you're, you're always picking on conservatives. I refuse to believe he's a conservative. He is saying what people want to hear. And in this, in this video, I'll see if I can find a, a good clip of it that I, can, that I can share with you and put it in, in the comments. Um, he's talking about, he's talking about N- NBC. He's like, you know what? If I wasn't involved in politics and I had an idea and I went to NBC, they would hire me in a heartbeat. He basically like, they would give me another show in a heartbeat. Immediately, they'd give me another show. And at first I was like, well, I went, yeah, no, they probably would, right? They probably would. And he says, because it's all about the ratings, nothing else matters. It's all about the ratings. You can be evil. You can be good. You can be kind. You can be mean. You can be whatever. So long as you bring the ratings and he's right, right? And that tells us to me, that tells us that that he's going for ratings. He's not going for policy. He's going for ratings. And ratings when it comes to politicians, in in elections, ratings are votes. So he's saying whatever he needs to say in order to get those votes, in order to get that support from, from his crowd. He's saying whatever he needs to say in order to get that support from his crowd. He's not for this or against that, unless being for this or against that is going to raise his popularity. And if it will raise his popularity, he will be for it and he will be against it. That's how this is working. There's no policy. It is what does the mass want, right? What do the people want? I am going to give the people whatever they want. I mean, Caesar was accused of, of, that's how he gained power. That's one of the things that he was accused of doing. He just gave, he, he gave the masses what they wanted and the masses loved him for it. Had nothing to do with what he was really about. Had nothing to do with what he was going to do to, the, to, the, to Rome, to the Senate. They didn't care about that. He was giving them what they wanted and they loved him for it and he knew it. He knew it and he played it. He played them, right? And that's what, that's what Trump is doing. And that's what he says in this video. Like he, he get, I am after ratings. And he's right when he said NBC would hire me for a show. NBC would hire me. And he's right. He'd have the number one show on TV first week because 10 million people would tune in because they love him. And 20 million people would tune in because they hate him. And probably 50 million more would tune in to make sure that he was genuinely doing a show so that he was out of politics. I'm you know, joking about that one. But, it's, but this is true. People would tune, tune in because they love him and they would tune in because they hate, them, hate him. And NBC wouldn't care at all because all it's about is the ratings. And isn't that sad? Isn't that sad? That it's all about the ratings. It's got to be about more than that. And listen, I say Trump. I'm not picking on Trump here. All right. I'm not picking on Trump. I have lots of problems with him. I'm not picking on Trump here. He's just saying the quiet part out loud. As we've already discussed tonight, there's people on both sides and they all, and they're playing this game. We, We don't really know what many of these folks actually believe because they're playing the ratings game. They're playing the popularity contest. No idea what they're really about. They're playing the popularity contest. How many times do you hear about a politician? 
He's against abortion. I'm against abortion. I'm pro-life. Every child matters, blah, 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 blah. Then you find out his girlfriend has an abortion. Right? You find out that his mistress, that he made his mistress have, have an abortion. Pro-life, and sure, right? Until it actually impacts him. We don't know what most of these people really believe. We can say, well, the fruit, you know, the, the proof is in the pudding and, and we will know them by their fruits for sure, right? But in fairness, many of them are just playing these rating games and that's, that's not okay. That's really, really, really disingenuous and dangerous. It's, it's dangerous. It's irresponsible. We've got to be about more than the clicks. We've got we've got to be about more than, than 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 the popularity. We've got to be about more than the ratings. Those who are called to to be leaders, sometimes you're going to have to give bad news. Sometimes you're going to have to tell people what they don't want to hear. You got to be willing to do it. You got to be willing. And we're talking about suffering. You got to be willing to suffer for the right reasons. You got to be real, willing to suffer for 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 righteous reasons, for righteous causes. You've got to be willing to get in that, what's that, that, that good trouble. Isn't that how it's described? You've got to be willing to, to get in trouble for the right reasons. You have to be willing to, to say what needs to be said, to do what needs to be done, and watch people walk away. It's not always easy figuring it out. It's not always it's not always easy figuring out what is what is good and what is right, and what is holy, right? What is true? These are these are difficult things. We can only do our best. But at least doing your best, at least trying. Even if you're wrong, it's better than simply doing what the population doing what, what the people, giving the people what they want to hear. Again, in scripture, it's been said to me many times. And I take it serious every time it is said to me. There's a time is coming when your congregations, they're, going to want to, they're only going to want to hear what makes them feel good, what makes them feel okay, what makes them, what, what makes them feel safe and comfortable. Their, their itchy ears are going to want to hear from the false. They're going to want to hear from the false teachers. They're going to want to hear false teachings. They're not going to want the truth. They're not going to want the challenge. They're not going to want the, 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 the discomfort. It's Paul telling Timothy, you got te- you got to preach the gospel, man. you got to stay with you got to stay with the truth that I've taught you. You got to stay with the grace that I've asked you to share. That Jesus calls us all to share. That's what you got to do. You got you, you can't just give in to their desires to hear good things, happy things, rainbows, unicorns and full moons and high tides. You can't you can't just give them that. You can't just satisfy those itchy ears of theirs. Donald Trump, whoever the politician is, whatever country they're in, whatever office they're running for, whoever the leader happens to be, whatever the organization happens to be, whether it's NBC or or MSNBC or Fox News or Newsmax or CNN, these people, these groups have taken leadership roles as well, haven't they? They're continuously telling us what they think in hopes that we will tune in. They're continuously telling us what we should think, scratching our itchy ears and all that. They've taken a leadership role in this world. The media has taken a leadership role in this world. Content creators on YouTube, we've taken a leadership role. Pastors have a leadership role. But by God, it isn't about the ratings. 
Leadership is not about the ratings. And it's irresponsible of us to believe that it is. It's cowardly of us. It's selfish of us to believe that it is. Amen.